Hey, welcome guys. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect a computer to a TV. Now, the video you're watching applies to a desktop or laptop. It doesn't really matter because I'll be going through uh, almost any video port that pretty much exists. And um, in this example, the laptop that I have does not have matching video ports to the TV, but I'll still get it done and show you. So even though you're watching this video many years from now of this posting um, and you feel that it's not relevant, I have a link to my website in which I have a posting of various video ports, so various pictures of different kinds of video ports, so I can always update that. So in this example, which is perfect, uh, which I because ha I have to use an adapter, this laptop has only USB-C ports. And USB-C ports are designed primarily for transferring data, but it can also be used to transfer video feed as well. Whereas the TV has primarily HDMI ports. So this is a perfect example to show you guys where I have to use a uh, video adapter. After I get it connected to the TV, I'm also going to show you as an added bonus how to configure the display. So video adapters come in various forms, obviously to match whatever video adapter you need, but they also come in one-to-one -one fitting or one-to-many. So what I mean by that is, in my setup, you could use a USB-C to HDMI adapter. So that's a one-to-one -one fitting. Um, in this example, I have a one-to-many. So this video adapter has a primary USB-C feed, which would go into the laptop. But then on the rest of the dongle, I have uh, DisplayPort, VGA, HDMI, another USB-C. So this USB-C adapter allows me to connect my laptop to almost any type of display that exists nowadays. So there's a one-to-many. So you can shop around on Amazon, look for what type of adapter you want. There's a lot of selection available. Okay, so in this example, it's rather easy. So I know that one fitting for the TV is going to use HDMI. So I have an HDMI wire. Um, and for the laptop, it has USB-C. And I have a USB-C to HDMI dongle. It has the, the multi-video dongle, so I'm set there. So of course, the HDMI wire is going to connect to the TV, and then the uh, HDMI wire connects to the dongle, and the dongle connects to the USB-C port of the laptop, and I'm pretty much set to go. I've now connected it to a TV. All right, so as you can see, I have the wallpaper, and pretty much everything I duplicated from the computer to the TV. In fact, I have all the shortcuts that are visible here, there, uh, because right now it's mirroring the display. Um, just with a few clicks, I can actually alter it so that it's going to extend it over. So the icons have disappeared here because this is the main display and this is now a secondary display. So let's dive into how to do that. So from within Windows, there's two ways to adjust your display settings. One is to hit Windows button and P on your keyboard and here you have the options listed out. The better method I recommend and it gives you more control is to right click anywhere on the empty desktop space and choose display settings. Again, this is all shown on Windows 10. Right now you see one and two combined, and the reason being is because it's showing duplicate these displays, it's basically mirroring them as if there was one display. Extending these displays literally has the TV as kind of like a second screen, and of course your computer as one screen. So here you have one and two. And of course if you want to customize it more, you can. So if you want to adjust the orientation, you know, move them up and down, if you want to drag icons from one screen to the other, you can adjust it exactly how it is in real life, so it's easy to kind of work with. Uh, this is the same concept used for adjusting your monitors, and you just hit apply and you're done. Some other options, of course, you can go through if you really want to play with it, is show only desktop 1, or maybe only desktop 2. And you can always cancel that if you don't want to do that. There are some more options here you can go through. So for example, if you just select monitor number 2, which is your TV, for example, you can choose to make it your main display. And all your icons will switch over to the TV, and your computer screen becomes your secondary display. And that's pretty much it on how you connect a computer, whether it be a desktop or laptop, to a TV. It's very simple. I hope you guys found this video useful. Be sure to check out my social links in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.